My name is Francis Lee, and I am the writer and director of God's Own Country. It's Francis who kind of, Francis's passion for it and clarity of, of uh, intent that made me sort of convince me to do it, really. It's inc I think it's quite extraordinary for a, um, someone making their debut feature to be so sure of how he needs to work and how he wants to work with us. He's very helpful. I mean, he really knows how to, how to direct, what to say to you, how to help you, and you cannot find that in many directors. It's a very nice atmosphere on the set. Everybody wants to do the best by him and his really lovely script. I grew up in Yorkshire. I live in Yorkshire. I am from a farming family. It was, um, it was very important for me to depict this world as I saw it and as I feel it. And it was very important for me to, to have the truth always behind the film in terms of the world in terms of the relationship at the heart of the film. I, I had always been obsessed with the landscape. Um, ever from being a child, I had lived and breathed this landscape and it had been my playground. We had six weeks to shoot in spring in Yorkshire. Particularly challenging was the weather. At that time of year in Yorkshire, it's, it's very unpredictable. In a typical day, we might have bright sunshine, rain, snow, wind. And so having any kind of continuity of light was very difficult. And we work with real farm animals, um, which are very unpredictable. The way in which that I wanted to work was by just working always moment to moment. And I think it really pays off in the, in the resonance of that central relationship. You know, in cinematography and literature, every single story has been told over and over again. But I think this story has, uh, has a different approach and uh, a very original one. That's what's so touching about this film is the, I mean, it's a love story essentially, and it's seeing how, how s such a huge effect can be brought upon by just one person. The central relationship is about falling in love and is about a boy who has to find a way in which he can be emotionally open enough to love and be loved. And I think that it has a lot of resonance for anybody who has ever been in love for the first time.